guys today I'm going to show you how to make this pretty little bow I've used a white and a navy ribbon and I even made the little lace and pearl center I'll show you how I did that also so this is what we're going to make today I've cut six pieces of ribbon plus a seventh little piece for the center and this ribbon is two and a half centimeters wide or a one inch wide ribbon and that is cut to 22 centimeters in length or eight and a half inches in length and that is four pieces I'm using two navy two white and then another two white pieces which is also one inch wide or two and a half centimeters wide and that is cut to 19 centimeters in length or seven and a half centimeters in length and that's two pieces in that length and this piece here is a 10 millimeter wide or a one centimeter and that is cut to 10 centimeters in length or four inches in length and this is just for our center so first of all taking the white 22 centimeter piece and a navy 22 centimetre piece or whichever two colours you choose to use. We're just going to heat seal the ends and pinch them together at the same time just to give them a little bond. And the same with the other two pieces. Like that. So they're bonded together. I'm taking the two smaller pieces, we're just going to heat seal these ends. And we're going to make a loop with them like this. So I'm just going to use this fabric glue. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of fabric glue along this end. overlapping that by around half a centimetre just to hold that in place and the same with the other half overlap it right by around a half a centimetre as well so you've got two loops like this and then next, taking a needle and thread, we're just going to mark the centre of this ribbon and also mark the centre of this ribbon just by folding it in half where you've just joined it. And then putting this join down to meet the, the fold, the, the crease you've just made, line that up with where you've overlapped it and then you're just going to sew across that middle, one, two, three, four and the same with the other piece, bring the crease down to meet the join and then making sure that that's straight. So one, two, three, four. And then you can pull all that tight. Pull. 
and just seal that off on the underside. Like that. And then you can just trim off the excess cotton. Then that's your base bow made, it's just a simple double pinch base bow ready for your bow. Now with our two 22 centimetre pieces that we've already bonded together, we're going to fold this in half to mark where the centre is. Take a needle or a pin, whichever you have handy, making sure that the navy and the white are lined up. Pop a pin in that centre crease. Do the same with the other half. that and then using your ruler or tape measure you are going to measure two and a half centimeters from this pin so to here and the same on the opposite side Making sure that the navy and the white are lined up. So that's two and a half centimetres, like that. Repeat that same step with the other one. So this is what we've got now and then using these as a guide we're going to fold up from this pin and we're going to go at an angle and you want this to meet where this pin comes out and then you're going to fold this side the same where that pin is making sure they're both at the same angle like that and then taking this piece that's on the inside you're going to bring this corner down to meet this corner like that I'm going to take this pin out and I'm going to pop that in there to hold it in place for now. And then this side, you're going to bring this corner down to meet this corner, like that. Again, I'll take this pin out and just pin that into place. So this is what we've got now, I'm just going to bring this one down a little bit more, like that, and then you're ready to sew across this bottom, but first of all we're going to repeat that step with the other side.
So you've got two pieces the same, like this. And now we're ready to sew across this bottom part. So again, taking your needle and thread knotted at the bottom, we're going to start sewing from right to left. Always start by going in. So one, two, three, four. I'm just going to Move that pin. One, two, three, four. This one, and then always make sure you come back out through the opposite side, like that. So, this is what you've got for your stitches. And now, we're going to do the same for the other half, continuing with that same piece of thread again, working from right to left, always going in through the first part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And now we're ready to pull that all tight and bring those pieces together. I'm just going to go in through that knotted side and pull that all tight together. side I'm just going to seal that off by going through one two and this is your finished bow shape for the top half I'm just gonna fluff this all up And this is the kind of finish you end up with. That looks really pretty with the navy and white and all these like swirls coming round. So now we're ready to join that to our base bow. So I've got a warmed up hot glue gun. Just gonna pop some glue in the center of that. And I'm lining that up. Place that on the base bow. clip. I'm just going to line a clip with some navy ribbon. So I've got 
some wee ribbon here. It's going to heat seal the ends. So done it by eye. So there's your lined clip to match your bow. So I'll pop that on the underside in the centre. I could have lined it in white, but I just had my navy ribbon at hand, so that works fine. You don't really see that anyway. Like that. Now for the centre, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm taking a piece of white ribbon. So for the centre of my bow, I'm taking a piece of white ribbon. It's actually an off-white supposed to be white but that doesn't look very white up against this ribbon but that should work fine and I've got this lace trim I got this from Aliexpress just a white lace trim it's about 12 millimeters wide and I'm just gonna take a little length of that around I'll cut it I'll cut it fairly long so that wraps right round my bow and I'm going to lay it onto my piece of ribbon. I'm just going to use a dab of hot glue for now. And just lay that on there. On the opposite side. Like that. I'll just pop a little bit. No, I'm not going to pop any underneath. We won't need it underneath. I've never made one of these before, it's just an idea I have, so I'm going to try it out while I'm making this bow. I've got a piece of clear thread on a needle. Have I knotted it at the end? Yeah, I've knotted it at the end. And I've got some white pearls, and I thought that would look nice to pop a pearl on in the middle of all of these lace circles on here, so you can see them. I'll pop a pearl in the middle of each of these lace circles. I won't do all of them to the end because obviously that's going to wrap around my bow. I'll just do probably the middle four. So I think I'm going to go into my bow a couple of times first with that thread just to get that on there. And then on the next thread, I'm going to come up where I want my first pearl, which is in the middle of this one. So I'm going to come up slightly to the right, slightly to the right of the center of that circle. Um, oh, drop that one. Put my first bead on that needle. And then going in through the opposite side slightly to the left like that pull that thread right through and then I'm just gonna go through that once more just to make sure that's nice and secure on there like that and now I'm going to go for this next circle in the lace. I'm just following the pattern of the lace. Through that twice, 
cut this thread too long. It's a little bit fiddly. It's so fine and transparent, so it's really difficult to see where you're going with this thread. But it's a good thing because you don't want to see the thread, obviously. I'll right, we'll do two more, so I think that will be enough. So this is what you end up with, a little lace and pearl effect. I'm just going to seal this off on the underside. Once more, just to make sure. That sounds really hard to see what you're doing with this clear thread. ready to go in the center of our bow so I'm going to go for the middle part with the hot glue gun and I'm just gonna line that up with the center of my bow And then on this underside, I'm just going to trim off this excess ribbon. Heat seal those ends. And then we can just Wrap that under the clip. Like that. And then just fluff the bow back up. I'll just leave that out of the way. And there you have your finished bow shape. It's a really beautiful shape. The finished bow measures around nine centimeters across, almost 10 centimeters, or three and a half inches wide. It's a really nice size and it's a really pretty bow. I love navy and white together. And that little pearl and lace centre there. Just a little bit different, I wanted to try. And that just finishes that off nicely. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Have a nice Easter weekend, guys. Bye-bye.